guys, it's been a while since I've seen you guys and if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Sonia and I love luxury beauty and one of my favorite brands is Westman Atelier. Today we're going to be looking at all of the Westman Atelier Baby Cheeks blushes. I actually got all of them. It's insane. I've been wanting to do this video for a long time. I know that some of my subscribers have requested this video as well, but it took me a while to actually get all the blushes together because they're hella pricey. So I have demoed all of them. You can look in the timestamps below if you just want to go and see the demos and the swatches, but I do want to get some of the details out of the way of these blushes before I start the video, just so I can get all the information out in one video. Let's first start on where to buy these blushes. There are a few places where you can buy the blushes. One is of course the Westman Atelier website. This is where you can find the blushes, information about the blushes, and also what the Clean Beauty promise is for Westman Atelier. If you're a Clean Beauty lover, this is a Clean Beauty brand, and they're very transparent in terms of their formulation and possible skincare benefits. I'm not gonna go into detail about the formulation or skincare benefits because I'm not a dermatologist, and I don't feel comfortable recommending certain types of skincare or skincare benefits or just talk about formulation in general. So I am going to skip over that part, but I'll definitely, definitely recommend you to go to the website of Westman Atelier to just check out a little bit more on what's in these blushes. The second place where you can find these beautiful items by Westman Atelier that I like to shop at is Cult Beauty, which is a UK retailer. I know I have a lot of UK followers. That's where I shop from as well as a Dutchie, so as a European Union member. For Americans, I understand that the tax is way too high, but I did hear that for the US followers that I have, you can get it at Sephora, which is great. It's a clean beauty brand at Sephora. So make use of that, get some Sephora points, maybe become a Rouge member, if you will. I hope that maybe in the future, the European Union will also include Westman Tilly in our Sephoras. For the last category, the Europeans out there, you can also get Westman Atelier at Nata Porter, and you can get Westman Atelier at Niche Beauty, which is a German retailer. I shop there all the time, and they actually had a sale this time around, and the sale included Westman Atelier. Hallelujah, that's why I got all of these blushes. So thank you so much for Niche Beauty to actually include Westman Atelier in the Easter sale this time around. For any Dutchies watching, I know I don't have a lot of Dutch followers, even though that I am Dutch, you can get Westman Atelier also at the Skins counters. There's a counter in Rotterdam, I think it's at Kaskada, and you can actually go and see the Westman Atelier products in real life and just hold them and see what you like, maybe swatch them. The customer service there is amazing, and if you do order it and you're from the Netherlands, it takes about a day to get to your home. So those are kind of the retailers that you can buy Westman Atelier at that are the most known. I'll make sure to put the affiliates down below. I do earn a little bit of commission if you do use one of my affiliate links. My channel is below 1,000 subscribers, so I, my channel is not monetized. Everything you see here is bought by me, and I do hope that you want to support my channel. If you like this video at the end, support my channel by using the affiliates down below. I'll make sure to put the retailers um, next to the affiliate link so you know what retailer you're going to go to. My subscribers actually know that this is my favorite blush formula, so I'm not actually mad at doing a video on all of the Westman Atelier blushes. There's currently six blushes that are not limited edition, part of the core line. I have all six, but I also have one extra blush, which is a limited edition blush, and I believe it's currently in a restock. I am gonna demo the limited edition blush as well because it sometimes makes a comeback. Each blush stick has a net weight of six grams, or 0.21 ounces. They have a shelf life of 18 months. It's made in Italy, and they come in this consciously crafted beauty packaging. Of course, the outside packaging is very Westman Atelier. So if you open up the magnetic lid, it's a very strong magnet. You see a twist up. You can twist up the formula and twist down the formula again. It's a very weighted product. It looks really beautiful and it looks like luxury beauty. So first we'll start with the limited edition shade. This shade is called Mimi and it's described as a tawny beige. 100% of Mimi's proceeds will be donated to Expedition. This is a non-profit organization that's doing innovative work to understand the impact of plastic and toxic pollution in our oceans. You can currently join the waitlist of Mimi on the Westman Atelier website. I believe this is also a website exclusive. Then next to Mimi, there's the shade Minette. This is a luminous peach blush. And with Luminous, I think this is the only blush out of all of them that has a little bit of a glitter reflect in it. One of my subscribers asked me to swatch Manette and also swatch the new 
super loaded tinted highlight in Peau de Sante. So you will see the swatches of Peau de Sante and Peau de Peche next to these swatches. Next to Minette, you'll find Chouchette, which is my first Baby Cheeks blush and probably one of my favorites still to date. This is a nude peach. And you can combine this one beautifully with Peau de Peche. Next to Suchette, then you'll have Petal. This is a dusty nude rose and one that I'm wearing on my face right now. Next to Petal, you'll find Doodoo, which is a warm rose. Next to Doodoo, you'll find Poppet, which is a poppy pink, a very fluorescent. And next to the poppy pink color, you'll find Bichette, a red berry color. I can't wait to demo these on my face and show you how beautiful these colors are. And if you do like this video, make sure to like the video after you've done watching or comment down below if you have any questions regarding the shades. Anyway, let's get into the demo. There are three reasons why I like this formula so much and the first reason is it's so incredibly blendable. Add on a little bit but you blend it out and it makes it look like it's such a natural flush. It's something that Westman Atelier and Gucci Westman do so well is that my skin but better look. And all of these colors are so nice for multiple skin tones or you know you can use even the deepest tone blush on my skin tone. I'm usually light to medium. It still looks really nice and it can look really natural. So that's the first reason why I like these blushes so much. The second reason I like these blushes is actually you can put them over powder or under powder. Sometimes when you're using creams and you're powdering your face and you want to add a little bit more blush, you know you're going to break the formula on your face. It doesn't look really good if you already powdered your face. These blushes are amazing to go over powder. They're just very easy to use and I like dummy proof makeup. The last reason why I like these blushes is they have a multi-purpose. I don't actually use them as a multi-purpose, but for the demo, I did use them the way that Gucci Westman says you can use them, which is sometimes she uses it for the lips and even for the eyes. Using a blush for the eyes is not that odd. Actually, the French Girl method, they use their lip color, their lip stain for their blush and also for the eyes. So it gives a very monochromatic and cohesive look, and you can really easily do that with these blushes. Especially when I did the demo, I realized some of these colors are beautiful, beautiful for the lips and even for the eyes.
Anyway guys, that is the demo all done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, if you like the video, please make sure to like it. Then I'll know I'll do more videos like this. Westman Atelier is of course one of my favorite brands. I have a dedicated playlist to all my Westman Atelier videos. If you want to see the playlist and you are new here and you just want to get to know the brand a little bit better, please make sure to look at my playlist. I really put a lot of work in some of these videos for Westman Atelier. I don't want to ramble on for too long. Thank you guys all so much for watching this video and supporting my channel. If you have any questions regarding the blushes or anything that's on my face today, please make sure to comment down below. I am a I'm a very good commenter. I always comment back and if I don't, please, that might be just a YouTube problem. I've realized that YouTube doesn't always give me a notification when someone comments. But if you comment again or you will just flag me or even reach me through my Instagram, I'll make sure to always comment back if I can in the best way that I can. Thank you guys again. Subscribe to my channel. If you like Westman Atelier and you just want to explore the brand with me, I'm going to always feature Westman Atelier on my channel. I think this is a brand that I can really get into the older that I'm getting because products are age appropriate and great for maturing skin. I don't think that my skin is necessarily mature, but I do wanna look towards the future and what the future holds in terms of makeup for me as I'm, I'm getting older. So I am gonna explore Westman Atelier more and more. I know the products are pricey, but there are products that are definitely worth it. And I think that the Baby Cheeks blushes are definitely worth it. Biggest recommendation right now is actually the limited edition shade called Mimi. It's such a beautiful shade. And part of the proceeds do go to a environmental expedition project, 100% even. Not even part of the proceeds, but 100%. So it's great to support a brand that also supports the environment. Next to that, my second favorite shade, till this day, it is still Chouchette but I think Petal will also be a favorite in my collection. Anyway, guys, <laughs> I think I've said this like the third, for the third time already. I need to stop rambling. Thank you guys all so much, and you guys have a great day. Bye.